Pennsylvania, the Keystone State, the birthplace of America. From the Liberty Bell and Independence Hall to the Appalachian Mountains and Lake Erie, Pennsylvania has always been a centerpiece and microcosm of the nation as a whole. But much like those who fought for freedom against tyrants with no connection to the land they ruled over, the fight against globalism over the past decade has proved that there can be no complacency. Restaurants and bars must cease all dine-in activities or they face citations, fines, or license suspensions. Here, the people are tired of being run over by the establishment. We're, we're sick and tired of being lied to. COVID really brought that home to a lot of people. We have never done what we did this last time, and it should have never happened. The freedoms and truths handed down to us by our ancestors cannot be taken for granted. Historically, we've been the guide and light of the nation. In the past century, not so much so. Watching our constitutional rights, our freedoms and liberty being stripped away, I felt like I was alone. Once you give away freedoms like that, it's very difficult to get them back. People didn't even recognize that the government coming in and shutting everything down for two weeks um, is a direct violation of the First Amendment. A patriotic alternative media and grassroots have risen up. The populist revolt that made 2016 a reality is entering its next stage of resistance. I've never run for public office before, but I became very concerned about what was going on in the state of Pennsylvania. I decided we needed to do something. I'm not gonna give up on a place that I love. I'm a voice speaking for myself and telling you what I don't want in my body. And you gonna fire me? Because of what we were seeing in our daughter's school, there was a lot of things being taught that we didn't approve of. Um, I do believe this is this year is a decisive year and uh, we get a Governor Mastery anyway. Pennsylvania will be that light once again and the freedoms will be restored. PA is coming back and so is America.